today's video is very 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 exciting because we are going to talk about colors now colors specifically within fashion i wanted to talk about colors because when you figure out your colors in fashion it is a game changer for how you shop what you wear because you ultimately will look your best feel your best and what more can you ask for so let's get started <laughs> okay so the first part is understanding some basic terminology to get started hue is pretty much the color that you see that could be green red orange yellows etc and then you have saturation which is gonna be how light or how dark a color is and the very last one is temperature and with that if we just use dark blue you can have a warm dark blue or a cool light blue and that just is determined based on that under color if there's more of reds oranges yellows or if there's greens blues purples we can reference seasons as a great way to kind of see what color palettes exist out there because it's earth's natural color palette so i think that's pretty fucking cool the first one is winter and in winter you can see that the shades are all cool it's all a bit dark and then when you transition into spring you have the warm light colors such as reds oranges yellows and you get those like warmer hues and then when you transition to summer you kind of go back into that cool colors of a little bit purple blues and greens and then last but not least we have autumn which the colors are very warm and they consist again of like the reds the yellows the oranges and the greens so that is a little of just how you can see in the seasons it transitions okay so part two i want to break down the color wheel a bit more you can see that the warm colors on the color wheel will always sit together so all the reds oranges and yellows will sit right next to each other and then all of the cool colors the purples the blues the greens will sit next to each other and in its entirety it makes up the rainbow so you can see that it's Roji Biv we can break down colors into two well-known groups we have the complementary colors which means when you look at the color wheel the two colors opposite of each other are complementary so that will be red and green blue and orange purple and yellow and when you pair complementary colors together, our eyes will perceive them as cohesive because it's something that has been in history for a really long time. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm a history expert, but colors go way back and tried and true for a reason. And there's a reason why it just pairs really, really well together. Okay, so for my example, I'm going to use photos of Zendaya because she fucking kills it every time she puts an outfit together with her team so let's get into it really quick the first outfit we can see that she's wearing purple and green referring back to the color wheel you can see that these colors are opposite of each other and it just is visually very pleasing for your eyes so this next look we can see that three colors are used here we have red blue and yellow which for those who don't know they are primary colors and what is so great about it is because they are the basic three colors in the entire color theory they can make any color possible which i think is why it's something that just sits so well together which then looks very pleasing again to our eyes and then the next look we can see that she's wearing a emerald green dress and the reason why it looks so good is because she actually dyed her hair red for a time period and red and green again are complementary colors so even though she's wearing one color here she's using her hair as another color to really bring out this pairing and then the last example that we have is purple and yellow which you can see that they are opposite of each other on the color wheel which by default it just will look very very nice now the second group is analogous colors and what that really mean is going back to the color wheel it's any three colors that sit next to each other so it could be blue purple yellow red orange yellow yellow green blue but it just will look very very nice and again very pleasing to our eyes so for some examples i wanted to show some of different looks that i found so the first one is a random photo shoot and you can see that the shades here are blue, green, and purple. Going on to the next look, it's just two colors, but they sit very close to each other on the color wheel, and that is shades of red and pink. 
The next photo is Dua Lipa, and in this photo, she's wearing an outfit that has yellows, blues, and greens as the dominant colors. Last but not least, we have another photo of Dua Lipa, which is in shades of green, blues, and purples. And the same thing, they sit next to each other in color wheels. So clearly, these two groups exist for a reason, and they work really, really well. Okay, so now that we understand a bit more of color theory and then the color wheel and the different types of compatibility with colors, I wanna talk about your dominant features are the things that you see and notice first about yourself. And by identifying these parts of yourself, you can actually start to curate a color palette based on that. So the first one is pretty much your hair. Now your hair could be light or dark and then warm or cool. So to use mine, for example, my hair is dyed. So this, the hue of this color is orange. And then the saturation of this hair is dark. And then the temperature of my hair is cool. So together I have cool, dark, orange hair. Now the second feature I want to talk about is your skin. Now for your skin, there's an undertone that if you can pick up will be useful. So for me, what I mean by that is I have a yellow undertone so when it comes to the hue that would be yellow and then when it comes to my saturation I'm on the lighter end but then the summer I do lean a little bit darker just because I tan and then with the temperature my skin color I notice is on like the cooler shade and this is where it gets a little bit tricky and I, I think it just takes time seeing yourself more and more but I think just because I naturally love art and I've been doing it for a long time, it's kind of easy to identify this for myself. So I'm struggling with trying to figure out how to best help essentially, but there's this cool yellow light under like undertone for my skin. And then last but not least are your eyes. Now in my scenario, I just have dark brown eyes, but you know, for those that have yellow eyes, green eyes, blue eyes, that is very dominant and it's very noticeable when you first look at someone. So together with those three features, you can really now explore and find color palettes that work for you. Okay, so before I go into the last part, I wanted to just say this disclaimer, which is truly beyond everything that I have shared. I believe that if you just wear whatever you want with confidence, you are going to look good. However, I do think understanding color theory and curating color palette will be useful because not only will you shop smarter, but it is more intentional when you buy a piece, you know you can mix and match when you bring it home because everything else is curated on that same color palette. So to use myself as an example, I've noticed that cool shades look really good on me compared to warm shades. So I have for the last two or three years only shopped in the cool shades. What's so nice about all of this is my closet is so interchangeable with every single piece that I have. All right, with that, I have been yapping my brain away for the last two hours recording this. I hope that something resonated with you. I absolutely wished I had learned about this way earlier on, but you know, now I know it, so I'm not too hurt about it. And I want to know what your color palettes are, so leave them down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!